So now in this video I just want to quickly introduce what a voltage divider is. So a lot of times you'll be looking at a circuit and there'll be usually one resistor to the positive rail and then another resistor that comes to the negative rail. They connect together. So this kind of looks silly at first. We're just running current through the one resistor and the other. These are one kilo ohm resistors. The exact value doesn't really matter for the voltage divider and uh, unless you have a specific amount of current you need to draw. Then you would need lower value ones that can provide higher current because the more current you drag out of this the more it throws off the voltage. We'll look at the uh, voltage coming up. But we got positive rail to negative rail. So what's the point of this? So if you see that you'll also see something else connected to it which is actually monitoring the voltage there because when we turn the meter on we'll see that uh, the 5 volt power supply is given out uh, about 2% higher or not 2% uh, but less than 1% higher than its 5 volts so it's holding 5 volts pretty steady here you can see we have 2.5 volts so that's half the voltage you can see that this point these are equal value resistors so right here on the way to the positive rail this has half of the resistance so it's half the voltage and if we used a higher value resistor and the lower end here then the the uh, voltage at that point will be higher If we use a lower value it will be lower so it's the amount of resistance to the rail so instead of grabbing different value resistors I'm just gonna put another one in series so I'll pull that one out make sure it's to the same row and then I will add a third one to the negative rail right there we'll zoom in to uh, see that a little better there you can see that one's connected to the two which goes to opposite rails and so now we can go back here this is our zero volt reference point we have five volts to the rail so this is one third of the resistance in this series circuit you can see we have one third of the power supply voltage if we go through two then that's two thirds of this resistance towards the other rail and uh, so we could use a two kilo ohm resistor instead of these two one kilo ohm resistors in series and we would have the same effect but there you can see that's two thirds of the power supply voltage and then of course the full power supply voltage so to make the math uh, really easy this is a 5 volt power supply we can take five equal value resistors and connect them in series from the positive rail to the negative rail so now remember whatever is looking at these voltages like the multimeter should really take as little current as possible which the multimeter does because the more current you draw from it the more it's going to lower that voltage if that current the uh, other side of the load is connected to the negative rail it's going to lower that voltage based on how much current it draws so in any case we have a 5 volt power supply of course at this point we have 0 volts we got uh, one fifth of the resistance this way 1 volt then uh, we got 2 volts there 3 volts up there 4 volts up there and then we can also connect to the positive rail for 5 volts so we can tap into those different voltages if we want to have a reliable multiple of voltage based on one so using a 5 volt power supply we can give a different voltage signal of uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 to a circuit and uh, this uh, won't teach you how to design a circuit like that but you're going to come across circuits that uh, use that so now you'll understand why you have these series resistors going from the positive rail to the negative rail they're a voltage divider you're getting a fraction of the voltage in this case there's a uh, four points plus the the rails there that uh, you can tap into so in any case hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.